I'm Mike Stanton. It's September 6th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, it's been about two weeks since we did one of these videos. Uh, there's been a decent amount of news, although at some level, not a lot has changed. Why don't you take us through what we've learned? Sure. Um, so the market remains pretty focused on the economic data, kind of as we wait to see what the Fed will do at their meeting later this month. On Thursday this week, we saw private payrolls come in at 99,000, which was the smallest gain since January of 2021 and below the estimates of 145,000. And then this morning, the market is digesting a slightly weaker than expected non-farm payroll report, where we saw a number of 142,000 versus an estimate of 165,000. And we saw last month's original report of 114,000 revised down to 89,000. Unemployment rate came in as expected at about 4.2%. So it seems, you know, the market's taking this data as an indication that cuts are coming, but whether it's 25 or 50 basis points is still, you know, kind of up in the air. Bloomberg reported this morning post the non-farm number that, saying that um, swap tra traders were pricing in about a 50% chance of a half point rate reduction this month, you know, post the, the non-farm number this morning. And looking back at the muni market, the uh, the story remains heavy issuance, uh, 13 plus billion dollars on the calendar for next week ahead of that Fed meeting. Uh, people trying to avoid any uh, volatility associated with that. And this week, despite the Labor Day holiday, there was another full calendar. Let's start by talking about what priced and then we can talk about uh, what looks ahead. Sure. So this week, as you mentioned, was very busy. It was right around nine billion. BAM had nice activity pricing around 500 million across 15 series and 10 states. And a few deals to highlight here were the 149 million Louisiana local government environmental East Baton Rouge deal, which was priced by JP Morgan, and 125 million City of Providence, Rhode Island public school revenue bond financing program, which was priced by Siebert, and then a 94 million municipal electric authority of Georgia, which was priced by B of A. And that MEAG transaction is interesting. That was a partial transaction. It was a much larger overall transaction that uh, the underwriters used insurance on a piece of the transaction to tap specific demand from the buy side. So it's interesting to see that as the volume surges and uh, the year to date numbers came out, uh, they were up 34 percent year over year in new issue volume. As volume continues to surge, uh, underwriters are being more creative in how they tap uh, demand and, and make sure that investors with differing interests are served uh, in the marketplace. So it's interesting to see uh, that effort go in uh, on the MEAG transaction. Um, sure. Again, uh, really strong overall investor demand for munis, uh, just a shade under a billion dollars of inflows into municipal bond mutual funds last week. Uh, what are you hearing from the, the street in terms of ability to price these transactions? Yeah, so I mean, fund flows continue to be strong. It was the 10th consecutive week. You know, munis performed well this morning across the, or this week rather, across the curve. We're about five basis points tighter. And it seems, you know, kind of what the market's waiting for, the final data points kind of ahead of the Fed meeting are going to be that CPI and PPI next week that the, um, you know, the market will be closely watching. But looking to next week, you know, it seems like issuers are trying to come prior to that Fed meeting calendar right before this meeting was about 15 billion and, um, you know, I think it'll be, you know, hopefully pretty well digested. And some interesting uh, research came out this week. We had uh, significant upgrades uh, to uh, full year 2024 volume forecasts. Uh, Tom Koslick over at Hilltop Securities raised his to $480 billion for the year. That would be just a shade under the 484 billion all-time record for the muni market in, in new issuance. Uh, B of A Securities, uh, Bank of America uh, head of uh, municipals, uh, Matthew McQueen, was on with the bond buyer uh, earlier this week. And in his interview with them, mentioned that they've raised their forecast to $460 billion, so not quite as aggressive as, as Hilltop, but but still showing that people think the the year-over-year -year, uh, volume uh, gains are going to continue. And then the outlook for uh, 2025 is even stronger in some ways. Uh, one of the points that uh, Tom raised, uh, Tom Koslick raised in his report, is that uh, GDP growth uh, is strengthening again, and that tends to be a major driver of issuance activity that when the economy is strong, local government issuers feel like they have the economic wherewithal to make the needed infrastructure investments, and that's when they come into the market and tap it. So uh, we'll see how that plays out over the next uh, 15 months, or right into uh, 2025. Anything else uh, on your radar this week? I think that's it. Next week, you know, a couple of deals we'll be watching. Um, I know the state of Illinois is pricing, so that will be a big transaction that we have our eyes on. And then we'll be watching a 42 million Rialto Unified School District, County of San Bernardino in California that will be priced by Piper Sandler. Great. Well, thanks for your time, Morgan. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike. Have a great weekend.